not everyone, but there was a radio show, a radio play, and uh, we dedicated this uh, to the memory of George Ferens, the director of that radio play, which did for the New City uh, produced. The uh, last chance I got to work, I'm very grateful to George throughout my own collection of work. We have lights and sound boy chat. Welcome to theater to the for W City. Welcome to Tunnel from Suez to Candlewood, and welcome back to live theater. How about that? <laughs> you, you can't get this on Zoom. You know, you, just, you can't do it. Uh, there will be no intermission. This will be performed without an intermission. In the unlikely event of an emergency, there are two exits I must bring to your attention. The first one is back the way you came in. The second option is if you follow either of these illuminated exit signs, they would lead you down the hall, up the stairs, and safely to the 10th street side of the building. Please take a moment. Oh, I get to take this off because I'm talking. That's good. But you don't. Please take a moment right now, if you haven't done so already, to turn off or mute any cellular telephones or electronic devices. If it lights up or makes noise, please turn it off right now. Also, please, uh, no photography, no flash photography, no cell phone photography, no photography or recording of any kind. But lastly, we do ask that you keep on your mask the whole time that you are in the building. Once again, thank you, welcome, and enjoy Tunnel from Suez to Candlewood.
The year is 2005. Jar and Edo, two non-binary roommates attending Alexandria College in Egypt, where they're studying engineering. They are friends, but neither knows whether the other is a boy or a girl. They respectfully wear interesting attire, while seated before one another at a table reviewing notebooks. They live in a small apartment in an ancient building. I don't suppose I've ever come out and asked you, are you male or female? We do well in our studies by identifying as neither one nor the other. Mm. Do you agree? Yes. Let's continue. Okay. Our next assignment is to calculate the shortest distance between two points on the surface of the Earth. That would be a straight line through the Earth. Is that possible? It has never been done. the dripping water distract you? Yes. I hear it leaking. This building is old. Let's find the leak. Okay. Have you heard that some apartments here have hidden rooms? Yes. Our neighbors upstairs showed me theirs. They broke through the sheetrock and found an extra space. Perhaps we have one. Where? <gasps> Unless it's in our hallway. Our hallway is where water is leaking from their apartment into ours. It's seeping into the sheetrock. The water's made the wall gooey. Oh. Feels like synthetic flesh. But we can push through and threw it in extra space. Hmm. It has no windows. It's shaped like a pyramid. Ah! Complete with two skeletons! What is taking up the space in the middle of this room? It's an old printing press. You have to manually turn its wheel. Huh. It was printing counterfeit. Stock certificates. Hmm. They've grown brittle with age. Not this one. Feel the texture. This is an original. It's just one share. Perhaps the company that issued it still exists. People die, but a company is forever. Let's ask them to honor the certificate. It says on the face of it that they will. Scene two. In another part of the world where BB and DD, the human amphibian. of the Suez Canal with Jar and Edo. A man-made lake on the other side of the world is the world to our amphibious friends, B.B. and D.D. Dee Dee. But we're here to tell you that there was a time when the company that built the Suez Canal owned that lake. In Egypt's 
Port Said, we rejoin Jar and Edo, engineering students from Alexandria who found a bearer stock certificate of the Suez Canal. That one share, over time, <laughs> became a sizable interest in the company GDF Suez. Jar and Edo visit the Suez Canal where they plan to give back to a world from which they have, up until this point, only taken. Since 2005 until now, they bake fresh baked flat bread as they lounge on the rooftop of their corporate headquarters. The building is the property of the Arab Republic of Egypt, overlooking the Mediterranean entrance to the Suez Canal. Let us toast to Ferdinand de Lesseps, ah. our company's founder. And for an 1854, he convinced Mohammed Saidi Pasha, the Wali of both Egypt and Sudan, to let him build this canal. In those days, boats should come to the northerners of the United States and broil them in battle with their southern brethren. How times have changed. Today's ships filled with unmarked cargo containers jam its entrance. As they do, let us ponder ways to, to deepen and widen the canal. Egypt rejects us. Well, at least they let us visit our headquarters. Hoo, hoo, hoo. R, 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 R. You, 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 you. Uh, This is Jar. Jar. And I am Ido. Ido. Shareholders. Trespassers. <laughs> Be gone. Our company built this canal. Your company worked for our Wally. Today, the canal is ours to widen and deepen as needed without interference from investors. Finish your picnic, shut the roof door behind you when you leave. Thank you for your hospitality. No what problem. a bother. Now what a dose of reality. At least we can finish our picnic. We return to our passive existence. It is better to do than not to do. The maximum distance from Earth from one side of the earth to the other is 12,500 miles. Go any further and you're on your way home. However, the earth's diameter is only 8,000 miles. We shave off a third by cutting through the earth. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But look at the horizon. The curve of the earth is gradual. At sea level, how far can we see the horizon before it dips into view? A hundred miles. Three. Three miles? Yes. Why? Because the Earth curves eight inches per mile? Yes. Hmm. And through it, it needs a canal.
idea. We take the earth, hit two fixed points, and divide the circumference by the radius to calculate their distance through the earth. What two points should we use? Did you get the mailing? Yes. Our company acquired a portfolio of electric utilities called First Light. Does it include a body of water? Yes. And it is the largest lake in one of the 50 United States. The property is underwater, but we also control the dam that contains it. And here we retain drilling rights up to the Great Bitter Lake? al Buhara, al Mura, al Kubra. Let's connect them. The Suez Canal is 100 miles long, and it reduces the distance between the Mediterranean and the Red Sea by 6,000 miles. Our canal only shaves a distance by a third. The easier projects are already done. But where is our new lake? 41 degrees north, 73 degrees west. What state is it in? Does it matter? The largest lake in a small state is probably smaller than the largest lake in a large state. Mm. Ours is the largest lake in the state of Connecticut. Its property line extends 440 feet above sea level. Is it near the sea? It's 100 miles from the Atlantic Ocean. But isn't Connecticut one of the small states? Mm, yes, it's the fourth smallest by population and the third smallest by area. However, it is one of the 13 colonies that revolted against England. A country that differs from it in that it does not allow its citizens to own guns. People can own guns in the United States? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They built a revolution on their right to bear arms. So they include that in their constitution. Even Egypt denies their citizens the right to bear arms. The revolutionaries needed arms to revolt. So they had to have the right to bear them, and they won. Yeah, some people there still think they have the right to bear arms. But times have changed. But if people revolt against us? Well, they should do it peacefully. Connecticut is a fertile state with adequate representation. Its residents will not revolt anytime soon. No desert? No. Plenty of plants. Animals. Insects. I would have thought the United States were of equal size. No. The largest is 500 times the size of the smallest, and the representation varies according to population. Our state has two senators plus five representatives. That's two senators for 3.6 million people. Compared with? New York. An adjoining state. It has two senators to uh, 27 representatives for 20 million people. So, one resident of Connecticut is worth five residents of New York, senatorially speaking. Well, yes, and one resident of Wyoming with a population of a half a million is worth eight Connecticut residents, senatorially speaking. Oh, well, then how many representatives does Wyoming have? One which in itself is overrepresentation because Connecticut has eight times the population of Wyoming and only five representatives. What's the biggest lake in Wyoming? Yellowstone Lake, 40,000 square miles. And the biggest lake in Connecticut? Candlewood, Candlewood lake. lake, 8,500 square miles. Not so big. And it's big enough for us to draw a hole through it. Can we visit this lake? Yes, people land planes on it. If we modify our jet to resemble a 55 Grundman amphibious aircraft, and you rename it the Canadian then we should be able to land it on the lake without comment. Let's go. Let me know when we are 12 miles from the shore. We have to turn off the jets and switch to the propellers, and we'll have to register on arrival and pay toll. Okay. I will. But how far away is it? 5,990 uh, 5, miles as the crow flies over the earth, which our tunnel through the earth, according to my calculations without getting into kind of the science, will reduce to 3,316 miles. Get in. All right, but let it be noted that I was content to sit here with you on the rooftop. 
rooftop overlooking the Suez. And I with you. But we must do. Cut the engines. We're almost there. Did you forget to tell me to switch the jet propeller off? Oh, yes. Sorry. Perhaps nobody noticed. I'll do it now. There it is. Man made this lake. Just like man made the Suez Canal. There's its dam, the Rocky River Dam. It fills many valleys. It was man who said, Rocky River be damned! And so it was. And that's what man said to the people on the high side of the dam. Some people did not want to sell, let alone relocate their homes. Look at that tube! The lake comes with a pump to pull from and releases water into the river. It works. We are looking at a big battery storing energy until needed. A hydroelectric utility. Just think of the dividends. And it's pretty. Look at the houses built around it. Did man flood towns to create this lake? Yes. There must be houses beneath the lake. Yes. There are claims on submerged land that we may have to recognize. But it is not like we have to drain the lake to get access. Owners have to be amphibians to get any use from the land. They could use oxygen tanks. Inventors are developing synthetic gills that, that draw our oxygen from the water. They could live in compressed air bubbles. These are old deeds. The lake is over 100 years old. Certificate, it's probably still good. If you can find them. As their plane lands on the water, it knocks the covering off of Jara and Ito's head, and Jara's head knocks against the window. sunken plain. Oh, look! A ripple approaches. It's those fishermen. They caught a carp. How do you know they caught The prospectus says that the lake authority stocks the lake with Asian wee carp. Hmm. I like the taste of carp. The carp eat the Asian milfoil. 
choking the propellers of moisturized pleasure boats. I prefer kayaks. We paid six dollars a car. Hey, not in the bucket. Catch and release. They always tasted so good, cooked fresh out of the back. Tub. All right, all right. Those people saw us. Hey, hey, McAllister, McAllister. I'm talking to you. Throw them back. Throw them back. Throw them back. Come on now. Let's dive into the lake. Here we go. Huh. One, two, three. Woo. Why can't we eat them? Professionals and car panty. Ow! <laughs> they nibble on anything. The fishermen emerge from the lake with bloody nipples. <laughs> yeah, bloody nipples. After taking their morning swim. Oh. What aim? Oh. What eyesight? These fish are nipple biters. Mm. Yum. Returns, two amphibious people, BB and DD, exit from the lake. anxiety, interrupted by dread, trapped between heron, swallows, and now carp. Oh, what I wouldn't do to meet them. They're in the lake, so we own them too. Maybe they can help us find a place to stay. We can ask, but we should, homie, can also exhume the plane and fly it to the nearest moon. So we can get home before getting too tired. Okay, let's do that. I, mean, I always sleep best in my own little bed and my own little room. Hey, who put carp in this lake? Oh, we did. <laughs> They're eating seaweed that filters fuel particles. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. What's to prevent our home from becoming an underwater desert? As if it was not enough to have swallows swooping at our head. When we swim near their lakes. Now we're getting attacked by... Fish that eat our vegetation! We must fight this carp. Use this sharpened tree branch as a fish spear. 
Prepare for battle! Hey! Uh, do you know you're living in a man-made lake? It's a curse! A curse! Why? For one thing, it drowned our mother, see? Did you know your mother? No. We only know what we learned. She refused to leave. She was stubborn Mary White. Did she drown when they flooded the lake? Mm. Yeah, see? That was when we were born. How do you know that? From a song. The, the Legend, Legend of Mary White. White. Shall we? Yes. Digest the algae filled water through the open umbilical cords. They fall into the shrubs that grow rapidly, the weeds resembling evergreens that tangle the water. They live in them, attaching their umbilical cords to the broken plant stems, breathing the nutrients of the algae, their belly buttons remaining open. They grow slowly with the passage of years, from 1927 to 1933. 
during Prohibition, when bootlegging became a way of life. Over the years, they would hibernate, freeze, or enter a state of torpor. They last appeared before renters on Candlewood in the late 1970s. So you're pretty old. Oh, no, no one would guess. Is this your first time here? Yes. Do you know where you are? 41 degrees north, 73 degrees west. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a vacation spot for most folks. Yeah. What brings you here? Where? Prepping coordinates for a time to connect this lake with the Suez Canal. By what authority? We hold stock in a company that owns both. Mm -hmm. You own two authorities? Well, our company does. Yes, and as shareholders with engineering degrees from the University of Alexandria, it is our destiny <coughs> to connect our properties. <laughs> a lake? A lake is not property! Before we arrange for the demise of these dreamers, let's learn from them. Folks, are you considering three dimensions for your three-dimensional plan? Mm -hmm. We measure latitude and longitude amateurs. What about altitude? We're only going down and anything below the 440 line is ours. We need a barometer. Oh, um, for weather? It measures pressure to, to quantify altitude. The higher you go, the closer pressure approaches a vacuum, according to the birds. We are not going up. What happens when you go down? <laughs> <laughs> pressure increases. Until it crushes. Squash. Our plan is organic. For example, when we flew here, we sunk our plane, but forgot to arrange for accommodations. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your suggestions. We figure out as we, you know, go along. If you tunnel through the lake, you won't be able to get out. At its deepest, our tunnel is only a thousand miles down. You should feel the pressure as we dive. Would you like to see our tunnel? Mm. Is there a tunnel in this lane? Yes, we borrowed it for the bootleggers. When we were little water babies. Oh, where is it? Between the islands of bootleggers and skeleton. Oh, interesting names. They were raised by bootleggers. Mm. What are you staring at? Oh, we so admire your 20 fingers and toes that bringing you there is our plan for you. <laughs> they are a wonder, aren't they? These fingers and toes. Look, Char, by counting them, people develop the metric system. And by using thumbs to count finger joints, people develop the imperial system. What does that mean? Please instruct us. Oh, the imperial units of measurement divide by 12 instead of by 10. It, in measuring distance, we've been using miles instead of kilometers. Mm -hmm. Although, if we want everyone to follow our plans, we should use both. If we divide the number of feet in a mile by the number 12, then what do we get? I don't know. Uh, 440. Here, we own up to the 440 line. It's magic. It's math. Witchcraft. 440 feet above sea level, or one twelfth of a mile. It is with precise counting of multiples of 10 and 12 that humans are reshaping the universe. Plus pi. Pi? Pi. We, well, yes. We, we must factor in pi. Do you mean the number with the infinite decimal? Yes. I think for anything with a curve. That's what computers are for. Folks, have you ever used a computer? Uh, we would like to. Oh. Mm, interference creates imbalance. But nature rebalances. Yes, but nature might not include <coughs> us. Mm. Please, do nothing here. I'm for that. We will consider doing nothing if you consider doing it together. Oh. You will become one of us? Mm -hmm. Yes, teach us to be amphibious. Oh, it's almost like
like being hermaphrodites. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, we can see the ambiguity of your genitals. Mm. Hey, little chance, you're in our country now. You can set up camp with a tree branch brow. Give all you got to explore the unknown. You can go get food from a palm tree cone. Hey, there is nothing to say. There is nothing to do.
Earth descended more than eight miles below the Earth's surface. Well, we need to consider that. But first, let's consider this advertisement about monthly program that helps prevent cancer. Okay. Upon their return to Egypt, Ja and Edo confront rejection of their plan. They refuse to adapt to local ways, and their colleagues look upon them as neither Egyptian or French. As a worldwide pandemic takes center stage, they ask themselves, to transform the lake into an underwater desert. Fortunately, the septic tanks and leach fields surrounding the lake keep it balanced with nutrients, invigorating the growth of trees and vines that strangle the trees and themselves. In their grab for sunbleed. That was informative. We must visit Town Hall again. The amphibian said their mother's name was Mary White. They're wrong. Her name is Mary Wright. Yes, she was dead right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible thing to say. Uh, well, I just mean that she was stubborn. The carp in this lake will be dead soon, too. And they only live ten years. They can live for decades and achieve, achieve Monstrous proportion. Well, I don't want to be here when they die. We call headquarters. They never listen to us. Oh, they'll listen. We've seen carp. We've seen underwater deeds. We've seen septic diagrams. They should sell this lake. And thanks to Jar and Edo, GDF Suez, after changing its name to the less traceable. NG. <laughs> Sold Candlewood Lake to a Canadian Mountain Police Pension Fund. Our new stock certificate will say NG. 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 
It stands for energy. <laughs> but in a nice way. I like it. They also learned to cancel bearer certificates like ours and switch to a book entry system. As our original shingle share continues to split, let's bid farewell to the lake by kayaking down the river that feeds it. Does it eat the ocean? By way of the Long Island Sound, you bet it does. Oh, what is this? There's wild bamboo blocking the path of our kayak. Invasive, aren't they? I wish I could live here, though. After we tie up loose ends and collect ourselves at our college apartment in Alexandria, let's make this place our home. Jar and Edo return to their Alexandria apartment with its hidden room where they found two skeletons and the original stock certificates. Here is where our lives began. It's a good thing we kept up the rental payments on this apartment. Yeah. Did you ever ejaculate inside of me? Yes. 
How about you? I did. Now what? We wait. Until we explode? Oh! Should we see a doctor? I wouldn't go that far. So, so you just, you just accept the outcome? Yes. Let nature run its course as it reveals itself over time. I suggest, though, that we move to fertile environments with lots of government representation per capita. Such as Connecticut! It has two senators, 500, oh, five representatives. Five yeah, yeah, yeah. For three and a half million people. Let us hurry back to the United States of Connecticut. It was a time for a plan to reveal itself. It was a time for a planet to heal itself. Though we had time to opine and be taking stock. We did it on the clock of the eroding rock. Measuring time in predictable intervals. We found our clocks in the cycle of rolling bombs. As we embark, what is true to conceive? All those other times, it was almost time. Now it's time. Day of judgment. Did I miss it? From the nerve centers, headless chickens go wild. Catch a soaring on a hunt of surround.
our works shall still be better for our love. And still our love be sweeter for our work. And both, both commanded, commanded for, for the sake of each. The world waits, the world waits, by all true workers and true lovers born. Now press the clarion on thy partner's lip. Love's holy kiss shall still keep consecrate, and breathe the fine keen breath along the brass, and blow all class walls, level as Jericho's, past Jordan, crying from the top of souls to souls that they assemble on earth's flats to get them to some purer eminence. Then any hitherto be held for clouds. What height we know not, but the way we know. And how by mounting eye we must attain. And so climb on, it is a power for souls. That bodies leavened by the will and love. Be lightened to redemption. The old world waits the hour to be renewed, toward which new hearts in individual growth must quicken and increase to multitude. In dynasties of the race of all, developed whence shall grow spontaneously new churches, new economies, and laws. Ending freedom, new societies, we shall make all new. Excluding falsehood, we shall make all new.
Arabians? We knew we'd find you shady characters lurking beneath the trees and vines. This shade is what we get as they battle for, to catch the rays of the sun. We have instructions for you. First, we need to state your origins. Mm -hmm. Where did you live before the flood? In the village of Jerusalem, in the town of New Milford, where our mother and her brother owned a farm. Until he sold it. You know the song. But, but her brother sold it, did not tell his water filled the land. It's too okay. late. Okay, oh, okay, okay, we, we can tell you. Um, if your mother was survived by children, then her brother had no right to sell the farm. His sale is void. The land beneath the lake is yours. Claim it. It's true. Your family name is Wright. Yes, and according to the deed at Town Hall, your farm was jointly held by your mother and her brother. It went to the survivor only if one died without issue. Your uncle died without issue, but at the time of the sale, your mother had you. You are issue. You get it all. Your uncle's transfer is void. Go tell the lake authority. But what if they don't believe us? Uh, you're amphibians from a from hundred years ago and you're still alive. That in itself is unbelievable. Uh, what do you think of us? We believe you. Mm -hmm. You own the land beneath the lake. Well, do you feel better now? No. no. The carp are getting bigger, and the heron still hate us. Oh, the carp will be gone soon. People learned how to make them sterile. That only makes them mad! And bigger. <laughs> the one blocking our tunnel is a monster. It will not move without what? a fight! And it's a whale of a carp!
have to say here, yeah? Dee Dee, did you win that fight? Yes. The carp was sterile. It was desperate. It aged. It died. But not without a fight. Yeah! All right. And you returned to this main event. Let me heal in your embrace. Was it worth it? That carp did a number on you. Oh, look what it did to you. It was an infinitesimal battle. Huh. One of as many as there are people on this earth. Yet there is only us. We are only here, alone, with the rain. I cleared the entrance. Would you like to see our tunnel? Oh, yes. <laughs> Lead the way. It is there, between the two islands. Oh, my. We bought new synthetic gills to try on for this occasion. You know why they call one island bootleggers, but why do you think they call the other island skeleton? Because your tunnel doesn't reach there? Correct. Huh. If anything should happen to us, can our sons stay on the island with you? Oh. Uh, yes. We can't promise he can breathe water, but he will learn to live in it. I will stay with him. You go with Bibi. Yeah. 